Take it. Hello, everybody. It's Charlie Stone, and here with me is Andy Goodyear of Honda of Lincoln. Andy, I hear that new Honda manufacturing continues to go up, and you have new Hondas in stock now. That's correct, Charlie. We have more than 40 new Hondas in stock right now. It's great that a customer can come in and buy a new Honda and drive it home that day. New Honda inventory keeps getting better each month. Okay, then. How about used cars, Andy? We have more than 100 pre-owned vehicles to choose from right now, and a lot of fresh trade-ins are coming in daily. We have just about every maker model you can imagine in any price range. Thanks again, Andy. People love the selection and great service at Honda of Lincoln. Maybe it's time you come experience the Honda of Lincoln way of doing business. 27th and Yankee Hill or online at HondaOfLincoln.com. This is 93.7 The Ticket. Look at me short. Look at me short. I'm the captain now. Three-time national champion, Vershawn Jackson. Touchdown. Vershawn Jackson. Number 34 gets the touchdown. Terrell Farley, Terrell Farley, Terrell Farley, defending Terrell Farley, who last week in his first start was a holy terror, number 43, and Jake Bakovic. I popped a few catch. He said that Bob got some game, man. Coming at you live from the Coppel Chevrolet GMC Studios in the heart of Lincoln, America. On air and online at theticketfm.com. Powered by Bauer. Here he is, Vershawn Jackson. It ain't put it up. It ain't put it up. It ain't put it up. Da, 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 da. We in the building, me in the black shirt. We on O Street with Bach going crazy on O Street Wednesday. Heavenly Waffles, come down, get some meal ticket waffles. Everybody's got great heavenly waffles. I've got my heavenly waffles. Zoom in on this waffle. Which one? Let me see. <laughs> heavenly waffles. Woo! Made my day today. Bob and the crew is here. On Valentine Day with Heavenly Waffles. Happy Valentine Day to all you Valentines. <laughs> Cupid. Did Cupid bring you something? <laughs> Happy Valentine Day, Terrell. Did you get something for Happy Valentine Day? No. You shouldn't. Shouldn't. Two of them. <laughs> Did you get anything for Valentine Day? Uh, I celebrated a little bit last uh last evening, yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, yeah. everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Do you remember in school when you used to get all those Valentine's Day cards and you used to write them out? And then you write them, out, write them to the girl that you like and you throw a little extra candy. A couple heart more candy, extras in And then she, she gets extra. She's getting yeah. five instead of one. Yeah. <laughs> to, let, to profess my love. You got to make sure they say the right words. You know, you got to pick them out. Make oh, sure oh the right it's a little heart candy. Yeah. See, yeah. I was always like, I always used to get the superhero. No, oh, yeah, right. yeah. And then you cards. know, like, for a long time, I always kept all my cards, all of them. Especially, you know, what I mean, the ones, the little, the little honeys gave me an extra. <laughs> hey, it's been you, nice being you at school all, with you. You gave all your homeboys the candy. <laughs> you out your happy, mind. Happy birthday, Bobby. Nah, I dude. mean, happy Valentine's Day, BJ. Nah. Happy birthday, Jared. Nah. Happy birthday. You had Andre. to back in the day. You had to give everybody. You couldn't yeah. be pious. Yeah, you, you can just go off. give them all to the girls. Even though that's probably the way it should have been. Well, in high school, it was different. High school, you wasn't giving out that in high no, no, school. No, 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 Because you you got a chance to buy the girls roses. But you didn't have to put your name on it. Oh, you just, uh, just, just, you just send phantom a, rose. A phantom rose. It could be for me. Yeah. Hey, she say, did you send me that rose? Absolutely, I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> now what? I don't know. It would, and then all of a sudden, I get the girl, and you don't, and you sent the rose. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. None whatsoever. Thief in the night. Well, none whatsoever. I mean, shout out to the state patrol, man. Always making sure that the roads are good and, and, and handling their business out there. They're always busy. Seriously, shout out to I got a lot of buddies that are state patrol, and uh, they gave me an honorary patch at the Nebraska game. So if I if back in my former life or other life, I would be a police officer. That's what I wanted to be growing up. <laughs> a policeman. 
Oh, going boy. to jail. Yeah. I don't know if I want to give you that much power. You're going to jail. <laughs> Listen, I would be nice. We'll give you a chance. Mm. You got one chance. But after that, we'll lock you up. You'd be talking smack all the way, driving him back. To the- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He, he's the, he's the Terrell, best. where are he, you? Aren't you the starting linebacker at Nebraska? No. What are you doing? Yeah. I it, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to take you to detox. I'm going to take you home, and I'm going to call your daddy on the phone right now. Tell him I got you in the back of my car. The star player at Nebraska who could have helped us to where we only went one, lost one game in five years. Dynasty. Officer Roscoe Pico VJ. We're going to take him home. You Roscoe Pico VJ. Dad, here's what I'm going to tell you. The next time I get him, it ain't going to end well for him. So we need to get him some intervention now. Too late. Oh, dang. <laughs> I got him again, Dad. I told you this time it ain't going to work. We got him. We've been looking for him. We got him this time. So I, Nobody's not, looking but for I would, me. I would be, I know that. I, would, I still would be a nice guy. And I just want to say shout out to the to LPS, right? Or LPS. Mm-hmm. LPS. LPD. And LPD. Yeah, and right LPS. Yeah. LPD. <laughs> yep. I want to say shout out to the sheriffs. L-S-O. Shout out to the firemen on Valentine's Day. You know what? The men get dogged out on Valentine's Day. We always do all the buying on Valentine's Day. Well, can not, we get something? It's, it's not a holiday. <laughs> Well, you're, according to depends on who you ask it. Yeah, who you're asking. Well, because some people I can celebrate what, Valentine's I, Day like they I, do I, Christmas. I, I can tell you what is not a gift, but I can't say it on that. What's well, not a gift? <laughs> Valentine's Day. Yeah, oh, God, this guy right here. <laughs> you know what, Terrell? You're fired. Oh, uh, it's okay. You just got fired on air. I see. You Why outside. are you still here? Huh? Take your headphones off. You're fired. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. What? So you just going? You going grandstand me? Yeah. You're fired. It's okay. Wow. Never fired anybody and they told me no. <laughs> it's not how it's going to work. I'm not leaving. That's, not how, that's not how it's <laughs> fired. Leave. Today's my last day at 12. Whatever. You ain't going nowhere. You'll be right back in here tomorrow. Sure will. 10 o'clock. Sharp. Today seems like Thursday. Though. Dynasty teams. It's like Thursday. No, I thought no, I didn't no. think it was Wednesday. I was I was pleasantly surprised to see Bob and Heavenly Waffles. I was dynasty though. I'm just want to talk about this one. If you've ever been a part, have you ever been a part of a, a team that just didn't lose, Bach? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, Terrell, we know you have, but have you ever been a part of another team that just didn't lose? Yeah, high school. What was your record? Uh, probably lost five games in four years. Wow. Okay, I can't say you. I can't tell you that that bode too well for me. I lost probably 18 games in five, in four years. But when you think dynasty, because I was listening to AD and those guys were talking about dynasty. Who comes to mind in football? Alabama. What year? And ooh, why? Ooh. You can go from Bear Bryant years or you can go from Nick Saban years. Okay. Okay. Because when you, when you put into category – what says that this team is a dynasty? What goes all into that? Are we counting championships? Yeah. We counting uh, Heisman Trophy winners? No. Yes. Count you vic- have to. I'm counting victories. I'm, I'm talking Wins about. Wins and loss. We're talking dynasty and holistic of a dynasty. I think championships, though, first and foremost for. Well, well yeah, but it's yeah. just, it's more than just championships. Heis- Heisman right, would but be there's a the, big drop yeah. off from anything else. Heisman would be at the bottom of my list. Really? Probably five. Because I would go with um, championships, victories, and how many, you know, just how many you lost in that span you was, you consider yourself a dynasty. Can we call Georgia a dynasty? Not yet. All right, so let's let's just go here, okay? I'm going to throw some things out at you guys. Mm-hmm. To say this is what constitutes and institutes and says you are a dynasty football team. Number one, winning percentage. Number two, national championships. Mm-hmm. Number three, conference championships. Mm-hmm. Number four, bowl games. Mm-hmm. Number five, total wins. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Number six, bowl record. Mm-hmm. Number seven, All-American. Mm-hmm. Number eight, Heisman Trophy winner. 
Number nine, NFL draft picks. Number 10, first round draft picks. Number 11, weeks at number one in the AP poll. Number 12, total AP top 25 appearances. Will we say that that's good good enough to, to, to. Oh, well, Dynasty, you can't be like hanging around at 16 too much. You got to be, you know, a top five team in the league. Hang on. I'm not going to tell you. This is college football headquarters. Mm. They're top 10 football dynasties. I want to see if you guys agree with it. Mm-hmm. At 10, LSU. Mm, nah, not really. They don't have like a year. They just have in, just in general. Yeah, they says, well, it says winning percentage, number 14, total wins, uh, 12, weeks in the AP poll, 10, weeks at number one, 11. LSU ranks top 15 all time with a 65% winning percentage. This is holistic of a program. Mm. Okay. Dynasty programs is what they're saying. All right. I don't know if LSU ever felt like they had a dynasty, though. They they spent uh it looks like eleven weeks at number one. Yeah. I don't know. That's anyway. like I do it for me. Yeah, dynasty okay. like cut them out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> number nine. Maybe this is recent. Georgia. You buying that? Number nine, Georgia? Well, they won two out of three. There's eight I, other schools I, better I, than I, Georgia I, in dynasties as far as No, nah, I can't give Georgia a dynasty. Not it, yet. It really? does get to the question, do you need three to be a, a dynasty? That's okay. kind of Kansas City just crossed that barrier yeah. in, with their Super Bowl win. Um, but I would argue that you don't always need three. Sometimes it's just a feel. And I always go back to these last couple of years, Georgia. They get pluses for the, the, the first round draft pick. They right. Get big pluses for that. All Americans, big yeah. pluses. So, but the, you got it though. You got I'm mean, Georgia's number nine. That's not bad. But but LSU uh, Georgia, that's not a bad ten nine. How many times Georgia won the SEC though? That's the question though. I don't know, but that's not a bad deal. Okay, let's keep going because I want to. I want to just kind of break this down. I was interesting. Guess who's that number eight? Who? Guess we we fallen. Nebraska. Oh, Olympus has fallen. Mm-hmm. We're at eight. Winning percentage number ten. Total wins number eight. Weeks in the AP number eight. Weeks at number one, number seven. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Number seven. Didn't we have like a 24, 25 game winning streak? Yeah. But again, you're talking holistic right now. Yeah. We're talking program. Number seven is Michigan. (laughs) Those old fielding aids, the dynasties of the early 1900s. It's crazy. Number six is Texas. Here's what I was going to say this after I got done. But here's what's funny. With, in the last 15 years, Nebraska hasn't been relevant. No. Not in the national type, not in the national conversation. Matter of fact, the last 20 years, Nebraska hasn't been relevant. We have not been in the conversation. No. But I, I, I can't, I mean. And we're still number eight. Come on, man. That's, that means you had a history. If you can go 20 years without, when's the last conference championship? 99. <laughs> 20, we in 2024? They did play for a title in 2020 I, or 2001, though. They don't, they, they, okay, I'll give them 2021 yeah. or 01. So it'll be 23 so, years. Perfect. So it's been 23 years since we played for a conference championship, yet we're still number eight all time. That's, that's amazing. Please, can we start winning? Okay, let me keep going. Coming in at number six. I did seven was Michigan. Number six. You guys want to take a gander? The Ohio State. No. Did you already do Texas? Texas. There it is. Yeah, Number six. Said Texas. <laughs> well, I just want to make sure you guys are paying attention. Jeez. <laughs> Five Notre Dame. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of cut. I'm getting cut off here. I don't think they want me to tell you who's number five. You have to pay for, <laughs> you pay for this. Season. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Is that right? <laughs> look, it went blank. You got your internet yeah. up? Turn the internet off. Oh, yeah. oh, well, later on. Anyway, we'll figure out five the next segment. Four, three, two, and wow. one. I'm just saying, I set you good, up. What a good segment. Yeah, I set you up. Well, see, I think if you're talking holistically, though, I think that's more of like, are you a blue blood or not? I think if you're talking dynasty, I think of like specific Years. Five year runs or yes. ten year runs or what it may be. Okay, well, I started out with dynasty. So, what would you say is the best five year dynasty in college football? Uh, Nebraska would be would be right up there with three titles. Um, ninety three to ninety seven. Yeah. But if you go from like Miami, could you say 
Maybe. Um, I'd have to look at that. It depends, like, too. If you want, like, the, the Alabama dynasty that Saban had was, what, from 2009 to 2023? That's just a long time. And you have to consider it a dynasty because they were in the conversation every year. And yeah, but, but what was the year. what was the most successful five year run? I think you have to look at and say what was their win loss record in that five year run? Well, How right. many championships did they win in that five year? We run? can cherry pick what makes us best. Like a five year run, then you could say Nebraska. But if you put it the ten year run, you're you know going with Alabama. Well, give me another school that had a ten year run. Right. I mean, it's tough because <laughs> Nick Saban uh, kind of changed the conversation with what he's able to do there in Tuscaloosa. No school has been able to have a run like. Alabama that long in college football since I've been alive. Not to the top. Florida State in the 90s had, like was an ACC dynasty mm. and they won two national championships. They were always in the top five, and we but they weren't winning enough them. national championships. Yeah, and we should have beat them once. I mean, we should have played them in 96 too. We, we, we really should have. We should have been in that conversation in 96. We should not have lost that game well, we in 96. We should have played them in 95, but they lost to Virginia. On that goal no, line that's right play, too, yeah. Because I, I would rather face Warwick Dunn and, and Fred Taylor. You know, I'm just saying it would have been more fun for us, and it was probably a little bit more of a game didn't for a little have, while. Didn't you have some fun? I thought you had some fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we had fun, but you know, now you want to just go and tell you, you all of a sudden you don't want to accept your smacking. <laughs> that was like the greatest game in Nebraska football history. I think we all are. What did you do in that game? Fun. You had a, you you almost had a safety. I let the team in tackles and sacks. Exactly. He you, tackles two sacks. Wow. Three quarters. Who are you? Superman. Let me see what you got on the that. You probably got a Georgia shirt on. Mm-mm. You got a G-Man shirt on? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. All right, so, Bob. Snoopy. I, all the reason why I brought that up, and I was asking you guys, have you ever been a part of a team? Because I really don't think people really understand what took place in those five years. It, to only lose three games in five years of football. I don't know who comes close to that. I know Alabama does. I think they had a, year, a run in there where they lost five. USC. But do we count USC because of Reggie Bush? Yeah, I think so. Reggie Bush got his Heisman snatch. He did, but we all know. I mean, we all watched the game. We all saw him on the field. He's still the best player in college football. Yeah. Can't take it from he him. He just got some NIL. Okay, a cool. bit he just got a little NIL. <laughs> a little early. Bit of, and a lot of people got NIL that didn't get caught or getting, you know, in trouble for it. Yeah, Terrell. No, I didn't get that NIL. <laughs> what what they call it back then? Prepaid credit card. Oh, dang. <laughs> yeah. That's when credit cards first came out when yeah. we was in school. Phone card. I remember that. You know, credit cards back in the day, boy. If somebody you got a phone, hold of your uh, credit card, they can hit you good. You remember them phone cards they was giving out free in the in the union one day? Yeah. Yeah. I probably, I probably still owe them people about six to seven. Dollars. Here's what, here's was, here's what used to piss, make me upset about those phone cards. So it cost me more to call Omaha than it did for you to call Georgia. Mm. That's messed up. It should just be free. But we don't have to worry about that now because we got cell phones, right? Yeah. All right. What do we got, Bach, today? What, what's well, on the agenda? I was just looking at Fox Sports. They had listed their ten best dynasties of all time. They had Miami from 2000 to 2003 at number 10. Felt like a dynasty, only one title, though. So, I again, it depends on how you how you rank these things. I wouldn't put that there. USC, number nine from 2002 to 2008. Uh, of course, that's part of what you're talking about. Um, they were really close to getting three in a row. So, I mean, I, I would I would have considered them, you know, again, before Nick Saban kind of rewrote what we thought dynasties were, I'd put them there. Number eight, they have Alabama from 61 to 66. Um, during that stretch. So you talk about a five-year run. The Tide were 65-1 and one with three national titles. That's Whoa. Probably about as close to what you could get from the Browns. Whoa, game. say that again? 65-1. and one. Wow. That's, that, that's the best. Yeah. What year? Uh, this was 1961 to 1966. Okay. They had two undefeated seasons, 61 and 66, um, and three national titles. Nice. Uh, number seven, they have Nebraska from 93 to 97. Wow. A little At lower. What, where? Respect. They have them at number seven. Uh, of course, the 60 and three run, 37 and 0 in conference play. Wait, so the, wait, 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 wait. The Alabama team that, that only lost one, where were they? 65 and one, they were eight. That's not cool. 
Go ahead. Well, you're going to get me more upset. How about the Army Black Knights, ranked number six from 1944 to 1949? Three consecutive titles uh, from 44 to 46, and five un- unbeaten seasons in six years. Hmm. A couple Heisman Trophy winners. Of course, it's a different time. Uh, number five, they have Florida State from 1987 to 2000. Uh, again, just two championships out of that, but they were <laughs> in the top five for 14 straight seasons. Okay, what was their record? Uh, I don't have their overall record. Must that not have been that good if they didn't put it in there. <laughs> well, so, yeah. It you wasn't can't tell good. me a guy that the Florida State team that lost seven games and did what they did because they were in the AP is better than a Alabama team that only lost one game in five years. Yeah, they must. I think they're going for the length of time. That's where their ranking uh, seems to be uh, taking more precedent there. Because at number four, they have the Miami Hurricanes. You mentioned maybe could have added that Terrell, uh, where they had uh, Shel- uh, Schnellenberg, Jimmy Johnson, and Dennis Erickson all win titles. Erickson twice from eighty three to ninety two. I'd say that's you know a pretty darn good dynasty. Uh, number three, they have Notre Dame from nineteen forty one to nineteen forty nine. Um, one titles 43, 46, 47, and 49. Army also, as I mentioned, had a dynasty during that time. Number two, Oklahoma. That'd be one that you kind of forget from 1948 to 1958. Bud Wilkinson, that's a it's 11 year period, went 107 and eight wow. with uh, four undefeated seasons. Uh, three national titles, 11 conference titles, and Heisman Trophy. And then number one, they have Alabama from 2008 to, to presently. How many championships? For Alabama? Mm-hmm. Mm, what's that? What does he have? Six? I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad. I don't think that that's a bad list. Yeah. You know, everybody that was a part of one of those teams probably felt like that team was the best team. Right. You know, like we do. We felt best like. Dynasties. Yeah, we had the best dynasty five-year run of anybody. Everybody that beat us in that dynasty, with the exception of Alabama, I thought, was older. Number yeah, five, four, yeah. three, two, and one? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not mad at that. Are you? No. I still don't know about Florida. Like, if you, because it's a good <laughs> argument, is Florida State in the 90s or Nebraska in the 90s? I'd go with Nebraska. They have more titles. Oh, yeah. No brainer. What else you got? Yeah, we'll get to break. Dang. <laughs> it's, it's about time. Well, there's, there's plenty to talk about. Matt Rule spoke on the radio yesterday. Ooh. No Huskers invited to the NFL Combine. Not Ooh. a one. I not told one. y'all. I told y'all. I told y'all there ain't a guy on the team that the NFL felt like should be at the combine. Mm. Not one. Who's in the senior class? We got to get that when we come back. 93.7 yeah. to take a captain show. I think it looks Gain of Trucking is hiring CDL class A and B drivers. Gainet Trucking guarantees a 40-hour work week year-round, and their strong team culture makes it not a job, but a career. Gainet Trucking offers health, vision, and dental insurance, 401k with company match, an employee assistance program, and other bonus programs. Build a better career today with great team culture at Gainet Trucking. Learn more and apply today at GainetTrucking.com. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Step into healing at Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery. Our team of top-notch medical professionals turns pain into progress with state-of-the-art treatments and compassionate care. Visit prairieortho.com and discover the difference in quality orthopedic and plastic surgery services tailored to your unique needs. Your health matters and Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery is dedicated to helping you thrive. Reach your full potential. Embrace a better tomorrow with Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery. The Omaha Supernovas are back in action this Thursday, February 15th versus the Vegas Thrill at the Dollar Loan Center in Las Vegas. The Mullen Motors pregame show with Derek Pearson and Renee Saunders starts at 8 p.m. with first serve at 9. Make sure to tune in to the next Ag Appraisal and Realty postgame show right after the match ends. Catch all the action on your flagship station, 93.7 The Ticket, and statewide on the Supernovas Radio Network.
Hi, Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC, and we have some really big savings for you right now. Our new crossover sale is underway. New terrains, equinoxes, and trailblazers starting at $23,290. That's right, $23,290. Also, we've continued our huge Sierra and Silverado truck sale with over 10,000 off new pickups. You heard right, over 10,000 off lists. Couple truly has a small town feel with big city deals. We're right down 144th Street or at couplecars.com. Stock numbers G260980 and C119824. Action Plumbing, Heating, Air, and Electric brings exciting career opportunities for you or someone you know. They are now hiring plumbers, electricians, and HVAC techs and installers to continually build their professional team. They offer competitive pay and full benefits packages that include health, dental, vision, PTO, and 401k options. Action has created a positive team environment for over 50 years. Apply online at actionlincoln.com. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. The Lincoln forecast for today, expecting probably sunny skies and more mild weather. We'll see an afternoon high around 59. Tonight, mainly cloudy and breezy, a little around 29. And tomorrow, mainly sunny skies will return, but cooler weather will, too. We'll see a high around 43. A new year all, just Kyle Hunter for 93.7 The Ticket and the theticketfm.com. Ready to upgrade your combine in 2024? The team at Landmark Implement is here to help find the right combine to fit your operations needs. Choose from 4.5% for up to 60 months or a 12-month interest waiver, followed by John Deere financial rates with approved credit through the end of February. When you purchase the pre-owned S or X-Series combine from Landmark, know you are backed by Landmark's extensive parts and service network with mobile techs and parts drop-off points to keep you up and running. View our current inventory online at LandmarkHemp.com or stop by your local Landmark to experience the Landmark difference. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Are you in the market for a new garage door or need to repair your old one? It's winter time and that means snow, wind, and freezing temperatures. All things that can cause sticky locks and damage to your garage door. If you're experiencing any issues with your commercial or residential garage door during the winter months, call Cameron Hall and his team at Doors Plus. Don't be trapped outside in the cold because of a poorly maintained garage door. Call Doors Plus today at 402-590-5800 or visit them online at doorsplusllc.com. Doors Plus, garage doors and more. Nutrition Authority presents Activator. University studies have shown that Activator helps with building muscle and strength while decreasing body fat. Activator is for male and females of all ages who want to look, feel, and perform their best. Activator can only be found in Nutrition Authority. Stop in, call, or visit us at MyNutritionAuthority.com. 93.7 The Ticket is proud to provide listeners with daily opportunities to win contests and prizes on our airwaves, and we'd like to take this opportunity to remind you of a couple rules. All participants must be 20 or older and must wait 30 days after winning a prize before participating in another contest. Once you win, you have 30 days to pick up your prize at the KNTK Studios, 1040 O Street in Lincoln, or your prize will be forfeited. Thank you for participating in our contest and thank you for listening to 93.7 The Ticket. Back with Vershawn Jackson, powered by Bauer. On 937 the ticket and the ticketfm.com. Oh. No, 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 Bach, no. Artisan chocolates from the chocolate season is not going to give me a hundred and. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> what, Bach? What? You want this? Or you want yeah. me to read this? Well, you can read it. You Go got ahead. it. You already said it. I got it. You, yeah. you got it. We got to try something. You got it. Uh, Are you trying to throw me under the bus? So we got artesian chocolates from the chocolate season, one of our advertisers. At the corner of Old Cheney and 40s behind uh, Buffalo Wings and Rings, get your European-style artesian chocolates handmade on site by Erica and her team. Go see Erica for your Valentine's Day gift or a gift for any occasion, really. The chocolate season, Williamsburg Village behind Buffalo Wings and Rings at 40th and Old Cheney. I've got some chocolate for you guys to try Terrell, on yeah, Terrell, since he was late coming back, I'm not going to fire him. He's got to eat all three. Ready, <laughs> go. <laughs> no, you got to try it. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. On air, try it. What you think? Mm. What do you think? 
European style peanut, artesian chocolate. What all? What's inside? I don't know. That's chocolate, what we're peanut to butter. See, we'll see what's in there. Is it peanut butter in there? Mm-hmm. It is peanut butter. He can't even talk. Oh, Are you going? You 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 going to wait till next after he gets to? They didn't bring it up for me. Here you go. Oh, you got to do it. Perfect. No. I'm Here we go. No. Dude, I'm watching my weight, man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm 225. I've never been here since high school, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Well, I, that that little uh, that little chocolate won't do too much to you. Don't worry. That's okay. what I'm thinking. You need it more than I do. Okay. I can't take. It. You're it's, only 150 it's like pounds. A, it's like a peanut buttery Kit Kat. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. 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 So if you forgot what I'll they do for bit. Valentine's Shoot. Day, head on down. Once again, Williamsburg Village mm. behind Buffalo Wings and Rings, 40th and Old Cheney. I like those. Yeah. Those little ball, little peanut butter balls. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I, yeah, if I eat one, I'm going to want another and another <laughs> oh, and another. Problem, yeah. Now, did Artesian bring enough for me to, to get multiple no. and be no, a gluttony? No. No, no yeah. everybody's sampling them today. And shout out to, to Big Slim and the boys out there handling business. Brent. Bauer. What's the other one? <laughs> Got y'all. You guys ain't worth a quarter. Brant Bauer? Yeah. Well, Underground. Escalade. Oh, okay. It's only those two. All right, Bach, what do you got? Come on. Well, like I said, I think maybe we... we saw... Go to Matt Rule. Go to Matt Rule. Well, we can start with Matt Rule. Go to That's Matt fine. Rule, dog. When, it, we, we, when in doubt, go to Matt Rule. <laughs> well, we didn't kind of talk about the NFL Combine. We'll get to that in a second. But oh, Matt Rule... Yeah, remember got that? You. Uh, Matt Rule did say on the radio uh, yesterday, a radio appearance, that he put in a strong word for Tony White during UCLA's coaching search, uh, even though I want him to coach here forever, he says. Uh, of course, uh, Tony White's been... And several teams speculation, and he continues to be the same message for Matt Rule. He's a future head coach. We, you know, giving him support, but ultimately, I've been here one UCLA year. He's been here one boxes. year. Stop it. Yeah. He's been here one year. One. I don't know what you want me, what me to do one. about it. This team's calling him and, and Man, interviewing him. I, all that is is a distraction. That's all that is. UCLA didn't call him because they really wanted him. Because if they did, they would have got him. Well, you interview a few folks. Let me say this one more time. Did he interview for the job? I don't know if he officially did. Exactly. But, but Matt Rule said they did. The AD did reach out, so there is a there was a conversation. That I get it. You know, every any time if I'm looking for the hottest uh, new up and coming person in that field, I'm going to find the hottest new up and coming person. If I already know who I'm going to get, I got to make it look good. Like, hey, man, I interviewed him. I interviewed Bob Terrell. Jason Peter, Amon Green, I interviewed all these guys, but all along I was going with my son. I'm, that's the way it rose. You can't give him no juice. Anyway, he's on. he's gonna get juice. He's probably likely you have another no. good year this year. He's probably gonna be hired. No, that's what I'm saying. You don't have a Charlie McBride. You don't have a Charlie McBride if McBride bolted for every head coaching job that was available that came up. You don't have it. Consistency. That's what we need. I mean, just to say you run your own shop just to get fired in five years. Oh, a good job. Or do you put a dynasty together by staying, by being consistent, staying together, learning each other, and then perfecting whatever it is you're trying to get done? It'd be ideal, but it's hard for a guy that to, to turn down the UCLA job if he gets an offer to him. I don't, we don't know if it was offered. We don't know if it was offered. Not, could, ne not necessarily, but you could assume I, that it he, wasn't. Well, okay, so do we assume that the, the Nebraska job was offered to Mickey Joseph? I do not assume that. Uh, okay, then. So don't assume. You know what the first three letters of assume is, right? That's what it makes of us all when we do that. So I'm not going to tell you that he was a – he might have been a candidate. But as far as someone – you mean to tell me that if UCLA – came knocking on coach's door and said, we want to give you $8 million to come coach UCLA. Coach said, no. That's what I'm saying. I don't believe that that happened. Then he didn't get an offer. Probably not. He was a candidate. Right. No. But he's been a candidate for several different jobs. That's why if you have another solid year under just him. Just a distraction. I don't think it's just a distraction. I think you might have. They're trying to distract us from what we're getting, trying to get done here. He can't. Coach, coach Rule can't afford to have Coach White bail on him in the first year, two years in a new 
defense, in a 3-3-5 defense. He can't afford that. You haven't perfected the 3-3-5 defense here at Nebraska yet. How can you say that you can go to UCLA and be a head coach? You went 5-7. and seven. How can you say that anybody off the staff is deserving of a head coach position? Deshaun Foster just got it, and he's never been a coordinator. It doesn't matter. Deshaun Foster's not only been a part of that program, he played in the NFL for years, and he's been coaching there for seven years. He probably has a handle on the guys. But but to say that Coach White, I'm not saying he's not head coach material, but you mean to tell me that that San Diego State, they, he was in that conversation, right? Yeah. It was another job on the East Coast. What was it that he was in the conversation? Syracuse. That's his alma mater, mm -hmm. right? No, his alma mater is UCLA. Oh, my bad. But Syracuse is where he coached at. He coached previously. Okay, yeah. perfect. That's his coach at alma mater, where he started. I don't know. Anyway. That's where he was before Nebraska. Okay, okay. So you got two schools that had openings. San Diego State. The other school are just right? Syracuse. Syracuse. And now we're talking UCLA. Mm -hmm. Which one of those schools, if you had an opportunity to go, would you go to? Probably UCLA. Why? Out of them, them three? Yeah. yeah. The better program. The market. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then where's that? You know? Okay. So he Big had 10 money coming in. Right. But what I'm telling you is, do you actually think anybody worth their salt will tell UCLA no? No, I'm good. We're going to pay you $8 million. Nah, I'm straight. I'm just going to stay right here. I'm good with my 1.5, 1.6. I just don't believe that. I believe that. And if and if Coach did say no, I think that's an testament to him. And hopefully he'll be here for the next 10, 15 years. Well, you can't lose coaches and, and keep the consistency. But we, we can say that because about UCLA, but I don't think they had enough time to look. I think they had to make a, a – not saying Deshaun Foster is a rush decision, but for a coach who leaves right out the signing day, it's kind of a rush job to get a coach in that's there, true. and probably keep it in the keep it in the program because you don't want to lose the kids that's already there. I just think that's the to me it's the Dion effect. Yeah, I, they said that. That's what it is to me, right? Because everybody's looking at what Dion did at Colorado and how he took you know these guys at Colorado who only won one game and they won four games and what he's doing and blah 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 blah. blah. It's the Dion effect. So I think they think Deshaun Foster is a celebrity. Would you agree? Mm, yeah, no, no. No. He's not deep. No, nah, he's not he deep. Ain't deep. No. He played in the NFL. Yeah, That's fine. Who did he play for? Carolina, wasn't it? Yeah. Carolina Panthers. How long did he play? He played for several years. The problem is, and I went to a UCLA game this last year, is they're not, you can't be like, at UCLA, like if you if Grant Wistrom played there, there wouldn't be a standing ovation. They see celebrities every day. They're not astounded by Deshaun Foster. They have to be like see, you guys are. You're missing my. You book. know what I'm saying, Bob? They you, have you, to be like 11 and 0 to make a big crowd come but out you, there. You're not necessarily. Yeah. You're missing the boat. I this, when I say celebrity, that just means that Terrell, you're still a celebrity. Yeah, you ain't played yeah. football. You ain't played football in 20 plus years, sir. 20 plus years and you still halfway relevant here in Nebraska. So now and and, and outside of Nebraska. So here's what I'm going to say to you. If that's the case and you haven't done anything, nothing. 20 years. How, it means a lot more for the California kids for Deshaun Foster because I think that's where he's from. Then it means probably cuz cuz Deion is a name from college to pros and to the 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 music industry. And I'm telling you that, that Foster his, has his name just he not, don't have the same pull as a Dion. Say Dion's a hundred. What what would you what, what, out of out of seventy five? You would give Deshaun Foster seventy five. Absolutely, I would give him a fifty. You got to be a crazy. Forty probably. You, he coaches longer than Dion has. It doesn't matter. It Deshaun, does. Devon, Deshaun Foster could walk through most airports. Deion Sanders, you recognize? No, you guys are looking at celebrity. Because you're talking about well, because you can what, are the, what are the people from Hollywood? Hollywood? What do you call them? Them are those celebrities? Yeah, sure. Right. So sports celebrities are different than entertainment celebrities, right? They are. They still are celebrity, but they. But but my point of saying this is, when you have a celebrity, right? That's a coach. 
or, or someone who played in the, the National Football League, the NBA, they have a Rolodex and a black phone book full of people that they've met over the years that want to help them be successful. So when you have that, you got, I can call a Terrell Farley and say, Terrell, what do you got in Columbus? I can call a uh, Joe Walker and say, Joe, I know you got the best little league football program in the state of Texas. Who do you got? Who's your, give, yeah, me, but give I, me your top I, five guys right now. I understand what you're saying, but when you talk about running backs and people knowing not little name, Wayne, name, not little name. Wayne, you could go like <laughs> this. You could say, okay, Marshawn Lynch, the coach over here. And Foster is the coach over here. How many kids you think going to go to Marshawn Lynch before they go to Foster? A smart one going to Foster because Marshawn Lynch ain't coach football. Well, th- th- that's not he what ain't coach football. The, There's the no name he ain't though. Well, heck, to the his name. point though, like even Chip Kelly, his predecessor, in, in football circles, that's a bigger name than Deshaun Foster. Yeah, I would agree with that one hundred percent. But you guys are looking at okay. Let, let me break it down. Who makes the makeup of the team demographically? California kids. Yeah, I get that part, but the dig deeper than that. Uh, African American kids. Okay. And that's the good. You better, you better go get you some African American kids, like Coach Osborne did back in the day when he came and got this little project kid from Vietnam Projects, and said, "Hey, we want you to come play for Nebraska." Now, I'm not saying it takes everybody the collective effort, but you better have some African American guys on your team that can play. Period. I said it. Now. I understand that. You're but quiet. It's, it's, You're quiet. Well, I think it's, everybody understands it's still, that. It's still a Dude, name, though. I don't name. see too many all white teams anymore. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> you, you. You probably. Well, there is some. There's some. Not. I mean, there's some. Who Yale? There's some. <laughs> no, I think. I think Yale even got Yale got some brothers on okay. their team. You know what I'm saying? Well, we're guy. not gonna go that way. But um, I'm just yeah. simply. <laughs> here's what I'm. Here's what I'm telling you. In this climate. In this age where rap music is mumbo jumbo, where it is it is high fived and applauded to quit. No one wants to, to, to go through the fire anymore. Everybody, when the tough get going, we get running. We get running. We yeah. applaud that here now. This is one of those jobs that in two years I have to look look back. You know, now I gotta give them two years because He's a young coach, no experience. You got to see how they do in one year one. You got to see how they do in year two. If he has a good year three, then, but him just having that. How name, long has Chip Kelly been at UCLA? Probably about what ten years. No, uh, maybe like six, six or so. Perfect. So he's been with Chip Kelly Seven, this whole maybe. time. Uh, let me double check because he started in twenty sixteen. Yeah, he's been with Chip Kelly though, the, the the rest of Chip Kelly's career anyway. Kelly started in twenty eighteen there. So Foster was there, right? Mm-hmm. He he was a holdover. No, he he came in 2017, but still holdover. Yeah, right. He was a holdover. So yeah. that that's just like see, this is like saying Pat Fitzgerald, Northwestern guy, Northwestern. He won. Foster, UCLA guy, UCLA. I haven't won anything yet. We well, somebody time. gave Fitzgerald an opportunity, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Somebody gave. What's my man Gundy? Who's at Oakland State? Yeah, Mike Gundy. Hey, Mike Gundy. Somebody gave Mike. By the way, Mike Gundy played football for who? Oklahoma State. Okay. Well, who played? What was the Gundy that played for Oklahoma? There was know. a Gundy that played for Oklahoma that got picked off by our own Kenny Wilhite twice, oh. and Stewart had a pick six on him. What? Might have been his brother. Then I don't know. What? Stan Van. I'm going to look at it. Up, stop it with that Stan Van Gun. That's basketball. <laughs> <laughs> 93.7, the tickets to Captain Show Fast. It's two hours and radio is rolling. Heavenly Waffles, Bob and crew is in the building. Listen, I'm with the black shirt. And Buck. Power. By Bauer. Bauer. Infrastructure. Bauer. Underground. Brand. Excavating. Hunk if you on O Street. We'll be right back. Gentlemen. Valentine's Day is just around the corner. Don't be that guy running to the store for flowers and a card on your way home. 
Hey, Rick Heyman here from Sarter Heyman Jewelers. We have great Valentine's gifts in store now. And if you spend $99, we'll throw in a free bouquet of a dozen roses. Give her what she really wants this year and let us do the rest. Sarter Heyman Jewelers, your hometown jeweler since 1905 in Lincoln and Grand Island. Online at SarterHeyman.com. Wall-to-wall wine and spirits is now open in Lincoln. Shop our expansive collection of wine, beer, spirits, and cigars at 5040 North 27th Street. From top shelf liquor to crowd favorite beer, Wall-to-Wall Wine and Spirits has a beverage for every taste and every budget. Plus, join our loyalty program to earn rewards and save on future purchases. Shop Wall-to-Wall Wine and Spirits at 5040 North 27th Street in Lincoln. That's 5040 North 27th Street. Rico here with HIS Auto Care at 70th and Van Dorn, letting you know HIS is a great place to bring your vehicle for service. With superior service bumper to bumper, we'll treat your vehicle like it's your mother's. Doesn't get any better than that. So call 402-488-8934 and HIS Auto will make you glad you did. 5% off, mention this ad, and for sure your mother be proud you called. 402-488-8934, HIS Auto Care. 7th and Van Doren. God bless you. Plains Cover Crop is your one-stop seed shop. Call us now for spring and summer forages, CRP mixes, and fall cover crop blends. We do farm-specific consulting for practical and efficient seed blends to fit your geography and goals. With a very diverse inventory, we will tailor a blend just for you. We're also looking for contract growers, and we buy and sell rye. Find us online at plainscovercrop.com. Timeless agronomy practices paired with modern technology. East Highway 20 and orchard and across nebraska mosaic is a non-profit whole person healthcare organization that embraces god's call and relentlessly pursues opportunities that empower people with diverse needs to live their best lives mosaic in southeast nebraska serving lincoln and beatrice would like to invite you to their monthly discover the possibilities tour events Events are held on the third Wednesday of every month and are a great way to understand Mosaic's mission. To RSVP, please contact Melindy at 402-429-0088 or visit mosaicinfo.org slash Southeast Nebraska. Ironhide Construction is higher. They're looking for hardworking, self-motivated individuals who are team players. Ironhide Construction has openings for an experienced project manager, estimator, apprentice, skilled laborer, and a rector or installer. They will train the right people and make sure you understand the position and requirements. At Ironhide Construction, it's own it, be honest, and do it right. Apply today and learn more about their other benefits at ironhideconstruction.com, where they're committed to you every step of the way. Discover the difference that expertise and experience can make in your real estate journey with Next Ag Appraisal and Realty. Whether you need an appraisal, sales, or farm management, Next Ag comes up with a solution with your legacy and goals in mind. Next Ag isn't just their name, it's your future. So why wait? Visit their website today at www.nextagrealestate.com or give them a call at 402-380-0432 and turn your dreams into reality. Your land, your legacy, their solution. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty. If you want all the latest technologies from those big banks, but you also want that hometown feel when you walk in the front doors, choose Midwest Bank. They have top-notch technology. They make banking so easy, and they also have the friendliest staff who will take their time to get to know you and treat you like family. You get the best of both worlds when you choose Midwest Bank. I live on the go, and now I can bank on the go. With Midwest Bank, I have everything I need at my fingertips. I'm volleyball player Allie Batenhorst, and at Midwest Bank, you'll love banking here. This is former Husker and NFL linebacker Jay Foreman. For years, I've suffered from degenerative problems in both of my ankles, but thanks to a thorough and thought-out plan provided by Advanced Medical Imaging, I was able to get my life back with the least amount of pain as possible. While working through multiple options, the team of physicians at Advanced Medical Imaging were there to answer any questions I had. If you're experiencing any pain at all and want to get your life back, go to amimaging.com or give them a call at 402-484-6677. Advanced Medical Imaging, located at 7601 Pioneer Boulevard. Nutrition Authority presents Activator. University studies have shown that Activator helps with building muscle and strength while decreasing body fat. Activator is for male and females of all ages who want to look, feel, and perform their best. Activator can only be found in Nutrition Authority. Stop in, call, or visit us at MyNutritionAuthority.com. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. 
Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. And Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of liberty for those accused and the pursuit of justice for those injured. Liberty Law Group's relentless trial attorneys specialize in criminal defense and personal injury law. Navigating the legal system can be stressful, overwhelming, and full of uncertainty. Liberty Law Group is here to do the heavy lifting for you. We believe in treating every client with respect and understanding. When you're in need of legal assistance, trust Liberty Law Group to fight for you. Call 877-42-LIBERTY. That's 877-42-LIBERTY. Back with Vershawn Jackson. Powered by Bauer. On 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Chip. Ooh, that's kind of loud. Kind of loud in my voice. 93.7 The Ticket is the captain show. Coming right back at you. We were talking a little bit about Coach Rule. I don't know if we had, we didn't have audio. No. We just had, we heard what he said. Um, Let's talk about this NFL draft. Why, who's all coming out for Nebraska that we don't have one guy invited to the combine? Well, I think the guys that you, you would hope maybe would have gotten an invite would be Quentin Newsom and Omar Brown. They seem to be the guys that would, would most likely be drafted and still not, you know, out of the realm of possibility. They get, they're going to have their pro day. They can uh, maybe show out there. Uh, but 321 players were invited to the combine, um, and Nebraska did not have one of them. Part of that might be in the recruiting job that Matt Rule did, uh, bring Ty Robinson, Nash Hutmacher back. Those guys maybe would have Don't, been invited to the combine. Maybe. Likely. I maybe, would even say maybe I can see. I don't know if Nash did. Yeah, they, they probably both would. Have been, right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's part of it. But it, ultimately, there are eight power five teams without an NFL combine representative. Vandy, Northwestern, Georgia Tech, Virginia Tech, Oklahoma State, Cincinnati, SMU, who is now part of your power five uh, and Nebraska. And uh, a little bit of context now, as you look at, you know, maybe years from now, you say, well, that Michigan game, I mean, Michigan was the national champ. It's just embarrassment. Nebraska just didn't look like they belonged on the same field as them. Well, Nebraska had zero invites. Michigan had a total of 18, a new NFL record. God. 18 players invited to the combine. That breaks the previous record of Georgia from a few years ago with 15. And you wonder why they're beating everybody up. Yeah, that's a different. You're playing with a different game there. Yeah, you're playing with grown men is what you're playing with. And I, I would imagine if more of the guys would have came out, they would have had more. Yeah, they could have had a few more. Wow, that's a that's a, that's amazing. But that just tells you how much we've fallen off. And I don't. I mean, you can throw Ty Robertson and, and Nash in there, but if there are fifth, sixth, or seventh round draft picks at best, you know, in this situation, now I think they can put themselves in a better position to to uh, you know catapult maybe into the third round, fourth round, but and if they have a big season. But that's about the ceiling. When you don't have any guys, let me ask you this. Is there any guys from Division II schools that got invited? I know it is. Yeah, I'd have hey, to double check. Div- Division II. And HBUC. HBCUs. Yeah. I want to know that. Are there? And I'm, I know it is. I know it's HBCUs that have guys that are going to the combine, and I know there's Division II and maybe even a Division Three or not. But do, you mean to tell me we've fallen off that much that we don't have a one person going to the combine. When did that happen last? I don't know. Man, that, that, please text line. Time. Text line is open. You can let us know when did that happen last night. 402 464 5685. I'm just curious to know when the last time Nebraska did not have one person go to the combine. Yeah, I'm look, just looking at running backs that are invited. You got South Dakota State Representative, New Hampshire, Monmouth. Um, looking at some of the wide receivers. Um, well, as it looked like there was too many minor programs there, but yeah, I mean, you get the point. There's, there's smaller programs that at least have a guy invited Eastern Kentucky's on here. Holy cross. Holy cross. Yeah. Keep going. Just, just go through the list of small schools. Yeah. Just else, all yeah. the small schools. I just want to know. Houston Christian. <laughs> well, Nebraska, I think it's going to play eventually. Um, Charlotte. Charlotte. 
Who else? Uh, I don't see too many more smaller schools okay. going through the defensive backs now. Just going one by one, so I, I didn't. I didn't completely prepare this list, but you get the point. The, yeah. Holy, the Holy Cross and Monmouth have guys invited. Nebraska does. Yeah, I mean that's the problem. That can't happen. Next year it shouldn't happen that way. Next year we should have five, six guys going to the combine. That's coming out next year. Five or six of them. Yeah, but that I mean, let's you a little bit know about, like you said, how far the program has fallen. But too, what Matt Rule kind of inherited, and he's got a young team. He's kind of you know tried to. Flip the roster a little bit. Um, also, maybe, you know, maybe could have had a guy there if you were more interested. If this was your goal was to do this, you know, maybe you could have taken more one-year guys. They didn't have a, a, a great uh, transfer portal class last season. Um, so, you know, part of it, I mean, I'm not trying to take all the blame off of rule, but I uh, hopefully you look four years from now and just laugh that that was the case. Um, because, again, you're going up against teams. I mean, I, I'd have to believe, I looked through it again, other than Northwest, Northwest and the only other uh, Big Ten school without a representative. And, and what was Northwestern's record last year? They're actually, well, Nebraska <laughs> beat them, but they actually uh, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. We did beat them, but they, they <laughs> finished the season with a better record than we did. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not saying anything. I'm just simply saying, we, we, you know, Coach Rule and company has to have, have to do a great job of going to get the guys that have the potential to go to the NFL. If you don't, your team is not going to be there. I, I mean, how many guys off of our team went to the NFL? Oh, my goodness. I mean, 94, I can name 10 guys. 95, probably 20. 96, another 15. 97, probably my senior class. Let me see. So you'd had Jason Peter, first round. These are all the people drafted in 97. Jason Peter, Christian Peter, or Jason Peter, uh, um, help me out, Grant Winstrom, two first rounders. Um, let me see. Amon Green went what, third round? Mm hmm. 98. No, it was 97. That, 98 draft. Seven. That was our draft, but I'm saying he we came out in 97. Year, yeah, my senior year, he left his junior year. He didn't redshirt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. So, and then he came out early. So, so now you got, okay, this is 97. You got Amon Green, third round. Let me see who else. Um, I got drafted out of that 97 class. Oh, Aaron, Aaron Taylor, seventh round. It'll, it'll come to me a little bit more. And then a bunch of guys got free agent looks. Myself, uh, Freddie Pollock went to Kansas City. I went to Seattle. Um, I'd have to go through my mental Rolodex, but there are some guys. My point is you had guys that got an opportunity to play on the next level off that football team, off that championship football team. So you got to have those types of guys, that level of caliber potential in order to be in the conversation when you're talking Big Ten championship games, when you're talking championship series next year, which that should be our goal is to win the Big Ten, and then to make it into a championship series. Oh, yeah, Nebraska, so they had, uh, from 1962 to 2018, they had a representative in every draft. Um, did not have anybody drafted in the 2019 draft. And now you're seeing, that since then, I mean, they've had a few guys picked here and there, but um, might not have another pick here in the 2024 draft. So again, we talk about Nebraska kind of being at, at an all-time low. Um, that's kind of what you're talking about. And then, you know, when you think from 2017 on, they did have even the, even the picks 2022, you had Cam Drugans and Cam Taylor Britton. I'm not trying to belittle anybody else that got drafted because it's a huge accomplishment and you, you put a lot of work into it, but uh, everybody else that's been drafted, let's see, since 2016, other than the two I mentioned, uh, were drafted in the fifth, sixth or seventh round. Hmm. So, I mean, it's, and it's good to have those guys, but like you said, <laughs> those weren't the mainstays in, in the classes when you were coming out with the national championships. You had first round picks, second round picks, third round. Well, the difference between a fifth, sixth, or seventh round pick most of the times than a free agent is either the agent that you're using or I won't say nepotism, but nepotism. <laughs> Seriously, that's the difference. That I went to <laughs> camps where I'm looking like, you mean to tell me that they spent the second round pick on this bum? A straight bum, but <clears throat> they can't they can't cut him. You just spent the second round pick. How's that gonna look? 
when it's winning teams too. I think if Nebraska goes eight and four, you know, maybe these guys would have been invited to the combine. Now, <laughs> Northwestern, obviously, obviously they did that. They went eight and five and didn't have anybody in invited. So it might not be the case, but Nebraska doesn't, you know, around the league probably starting to kind of, it's, it's not the draw. It's not the name it used to be. It's not, oh, they played at Nebraska. You know, it, to me, it still kind of pops on film when I watch NFL, um, NFL like uh, tape. And you got, you know, you, you see somebody out there balling against a Miami or a Florida State or a USC or an Oklahoma that kind of pops to you. Nebraska, you know, just because maybe it's my <laughs> maybe it's my bias. Maybe it's just the fact that I've, you know, have respect for the Nebraska program it still kind of looks good. Um, but I think it's obviously lost. It's, you know, uh, the, the power in the NFL where it's like, well, if they played at Nebraska, we know they practice hard. You know, you, you want to know all these things. You don't what do you what would you say about something that's worked at played at Nebraska the last five years? you know, you could dive in deep into the tape, but you wouldn't say that they're naturally on, off a winning program because they haven't been, they haven't been winning. Let me ask you a question. What's your favorite car? If, uh, if I said I was going to give you any car in the world, what would you pick? <laughs> I'm not a huge car guy, but uh, I like the Chrysler 300 I had. Perfect. Was it, did it have a Hemi? No. No Hemi, so you don't no. care about speed. Well, I mean, if I had all the money, I'd probably have made it a little better, but yeah. Okay, good. Terrell, what'd you do? Um, What'd you get? AMG. Mercedes Benz. Yeah. Perfect. So I get you a brand new 2021 Mercedes Benz. That's a lie. 500. 2021 is two years ago. It's okay. not brand oh, new. Okay, my bad. <laughs> it's brand new to you. Us used car guys, it's a brand new car. Because <laughs> you ain't never had it. So it's brand new to you. But, okay, I give you a 2024 uh, AMG Mercedes. Right? It's sparkling. You look at it. We looking at it from the window out here thinking, who is in that car? You go get the car after I give you the keys and you get in the car and the car don't go past 20. It looks good driving down the road, but it's AMG. Do you know what AMG means? When you have a real AMG? I don't know. Mercedes Benz 500 SL. Do I want to go V12? And you can't go past 20? That's what Nebraska football has become. A big, shiny Mercedes-Benz that looks the part, but when it's time to go, we can't. We're getting it fixed, though. We're getting it fixed. Holla at your boy. 93.7 a ticket. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM for 93.7 The Ticket. A lot of people in the summertime think, gee, I want to build a new home. By the time they go through the process of sitting down, getting the permits, and getting the home started, the home isn't done until January or February. Bob Benish is the founder and president of Aspen Builders, online at aspenbuildersinc.com. I think the best time to start designing your new home is the month of February. Get an early start on it. Sit down. The snow's flying. Let's sit around the table. Let's drop some plans. When we're looking out for a homeowner, we're always keeping their budget in mind. Let's put numbers together. And let's get that thing started so that the home's done in summer or fall before school starts. So now is really the time to be contacting us to get an appointment to get the job done. Make your dream a reality and call Aspen Builders at 423-6811. Online at aspenbuildersinc.com. Your dream home is waiting at Aspen Builders. Flowers and chocolates are great for Valentine's Day. But you know what really earns you bonus points? A massage. No, not from you, but from the professionals at the body shop. Now is the time to purchase a gift certificate for your significant other to make sure you're the big winner this Valentine's Day. Go to thebodyshoplincoln.com and select from their variety of specific massages. Once you've purchased, you can either print out the certificate or email it to the lucky recipient. Do Valentine's Day right this year with a massage from The Body Shop at 48th and A. Hello, everybody. It's Charlie Stone, and here with me is Andy Goodyear of Honda of Lincoln. Andy, I hear that new Honda manufacturing continues to go up, and you have new Hondas in stock now. That's correct, Charlie. We have more than 40 new Hondas in stock right now. It's great that a customer can come in and buy a new Honda and drive it home that day. 
New Honda inventory keeps getting better each month. Okay, then. How about used cars, Andy? We have more than 100 pre-owned vehicles to choose from right now, and a lot of fresh trade-ins are coming in daily. We have just about every maker model you can imagine in any price range. Thanks again, Andy. People love the selection and great service at Honda of Lincoln. Maybe it's time you come experience the Honda of Lincoln way of doing business. 27th and Yankee Hill or online at hondaoflincoln.com. Ready to upgrade your combine in 2024? The team at Landmark Implement is here to help find the right combine to fit your operations needs. Choose from 4.5% for up to 60 months or a 12-month interest waiver, followed by John Deere financial rates with approved credit through the end of February. When you purchase the pre-owned S or X-Series Combine from Landmark, know you are backed by Landmark's extensive parts and service network with mobile techs and parts drop-off points to keep you up and running. View our current inventory online at LandmarkM.com or stop by your local Landmark to experience the Landmark difference. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC, and we have some really big savings for you right now. Our new crossover sale is underway. New terrains, equinoxes, and trailblazers starting at $23,290. That's right, $23,290. Also, we've continued our huge Sierra and Silverado truck sale with over 10,000 off new pickups. You heard right, over 10,000 off list. Couple truly has a small town feel with big savings. City deals or right down 144th Street or at couplecars.com. Stock numbers D260980 and C119824. This is a former Husker and NFL linebacker Jay Foreman. For years, I've suffered from degenerative problems in both of my ankles, but thanks to a thorough and thought out plan provided by Advanced Medical Imaging, I was able to get my life back with the least amount of pain as possible. While working through multiple options, the team of physicians at Advanced Medical Imaging were there to answer any questions I had. If you're experiencing any pain at all and want to get your life back, go to amimaging.com or give them a call at 402-484-6677 advanced medical imaging located at 7601 pioneers boulevard mosaic is a non-profit whole person health care organization that embraces god's call and relentlessly pursues opportunities that empower people with diverse needs to live their best lives mosaic in southeast nebraska serving lincoln and beatrice would like to invite you to their monthly discover the possibilities tour events Events are held on the third Wednesday of every month and are a great way to understand Mosaic's mission. To RSVP, please contact Melindy at 402-429-0088 or visit mosaicinfo.org slash southeast Nebraska. Rosie Sports Bar and Grill. Open for lunch and dinner at 1501 Center Park Road. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Attention all Wings fans. 89 Cent Wings are back on Tuesdays at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Lincoln. Enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy. And now at the Williamsburg Village Wings and Rings, you can enjoy $1.50 Tall Boys in Bud Light, Coors Light, Bush Light, and Michelob Ultra every day after 7 p.m. and all day on Sundays. Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 Cent Wings. Drinking and driving causes serious harm to friends, family members, and loved ones. In 2021, 65 people were killed in Nebraska by a car crash involving a drunk driver. Do not drink and drive. By drinking less, you can still be here for your loved ones. If you or loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. This is 93.7 The Ticket. Look at me short. Look at me short. I'm the captain now. Three-time national champion, Vershawn Jackson. Touchdown. Vershawn Jackson. Number 34 gets the touchdown. Terrell Farley. Terrell Farley. Terrell Farley. Defending Terrell Farley. Who last week in his first start was a holy terror. Number 43. And Jake Bakovic. I popped a few cats. He said that Bob got some game, man. Coming at you live from the Koppel Chevrolet GMC Studios in the heart of Lincoln, America. On air and online at theticketfm.com. Powered by Bauer. Here he is. We got picked off. Jackson. Multiple times. No. <laughs> Go 
Go ahead, just Bob, like that. Again, Bob. That's pretty impressive. Look. It's <laughs> 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 a trick machine you gun. Need a, you need to get your record. Machine gun <laughs> Kelly. Record award up or something. Right. Machine gun Kelly. But, but yeah, Kel Gundy, go back to the streamline real quick. Let's go to the text line, see what uh, Big Bird says. Give me a 69 Chevelle SS with a 396 full speed. You know what you're talking about, Big Bird. I got a, a 78 drop, Monte Carlo drop with top. a four speed with a 355 in it. Drop top. No. Chevelle. You can't have a drop top Chevelle. Why you can't? Well, I don't know if, it, if it's going to hold. The I've world. seen a drop top Chevelle. I'd rather have a hard top because you're going fast Well, in a Chevelle. And a three with, with a four speed? Bro, you have no idea. My homeboy had one. Okay, go ahead. I crew crew says, if not injured, Piper probably will get an invite to the combine. You think? Uh, no, I wouldn't say no quite quite that, but maybe no. he'd be in the conversation for uh, pro day would be interesting. But yeah, what's what's Piper size? I have to look it up. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Yeah. While you look that up. I think I, you know, I, I understand what you're saying, VJ, because that 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 combine is very, you know, is is needed because for us players, especially like Newsom, because you get to meet everybody from 32 mm -hmm. teams, you get to meet, you get to take the little test, you get to do your measurements. It's, it's kind of different from a pro day than a, than the combine. Absolutely, so it's, it's a whole. But I mean, you don't have to go there and work out because a lot of people decline to work out. But what if you did go to the combine and showed out? Yeah. Well, I think I I think he didn't get invited to the combine because he was still hurt though. Remember, he had surgery, didn't he? No, that he got was hurt. I thought he, wasn't it? Nah, he got he got surgery on his shoulder. Who's that? Quentin. After the season. Hmm. He didn't finish the season, did he? Right after the season. Remember, he got hurt. He did finish the season, I believe. No, oh uh, no, but I'm saying he got hurt that last game that we played, he got hurt in the Iowa game. You guys don't remember that, huh? Well, even though I got suspended, I went to the combine. Well, that's because you were thrown far. Away. Oh my God! Here we go. I didn't go to the combine. I didn't get an invite. I didn't get an invite to the senior day either. Most people that don't, they're free agents at best. Yeah. Right. He, unless unless he runs like a four three and his all of his drills is phenomenal. He does twelve two twenty five. He's gonna go free agent somewhere. Not to say that he can't make it. Who's the other uh, defensive back that just left not too long ago, two three years ago? His, I think his little brother's coming. Boodle. Yeah, yeah. Who's he playing yeah, for now? DiCaprio Boodle. I don't know if if he finished last year on the roster. What about Jackson? Lamar Jackson. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he did either. But they but they went yeah. free agent and they right. had the opportunity to play. Is what I'm saying. Right. St Stanley Morgan. Stanley Morgan got drafted, didn't he? No, he went free no. agent. Oh, he did. There yeah. you go. That's probably the biggest name. Going free agent is like being a walk on. Yeah. So a person. Making it and, and actually playing in the NFL when they went free agent is like it, you can equate it to a walk on making it at Nebraska. That's what it is. Will Compton's a great example of a guy that didn't get drafted. Oh yeah, a long career. Oh yeah, yeah, big time. Will Compton. He he probably is, if I look at it, he's probably the, the number one guy. Mm. If you really look at guys who went undrafted and played a long time, that's probably him. Would you with Quentin Newsom? I mean in. Again, it, you have to be a really good player to start at Nebraska. It'd be a really good player to, uh, you know, kind of be in this conversation to begin with. But just comparing him to like DiCaprio, Boot, and Lamar Jackson, I mean, are you feeling like he got robbed here, or would you say probably about on that line when they didn't get? Um, I mean, I don't, I can't put Quentin Newsom in front of either one of those guys. Yeah, not me, not not his bill of work. I mean, Quentin has some good, decent games, but there's a couple games I think he could have got. A couple picks. He dropped a few that right. really would have might have helped us stuff. Now what's well, the yeah. guy? What's the guy that 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 plays for the Bengals right now? The cornerback, Cam Taylor Britt. Yeah, no. Nah, um, I thought they was probably on the same page at one one time. Ooh. Um, Noose. He was pretty good at that point. Yeah, I think he when they played together last when year, when they played together, that was a good combination. He doesn't have like the athleticism of Cam Taylor Britt. No, nah, I agree with that. He had, yeah, yeah, you kind of right. Had, but he had a juice I mean, uh, another, yeah. another guy can make you take your level up to another lot, not, not if you're all teammates like that, or it could take pressure off of you. But I, yeah, I don't put him in the Cam Taylor Brown. I don't put him in that conversation. He's not faster than Cam. He, he's not more athletic than Cam. 
I don't think he's a better overall football player than Cam. I mean, I mean, I mean Cam gives you punt return abilities. He gives you, yeah. you know, gunner abilities. Not that he, not that Q doesn't. Uh, Q's a free agent. If you ask me, he's a free agent unless he runs a four three, a four four one, four four zero, and has a phenomenal test. Then he'll sneak into the six or seven round. But other than that, he's going to be a free agent. He's going to have an opportunity to make somebody's team. Well, it's interesting, too, because Matt Rule has said, and I don't think he's the only one that said for years that he's an NFL player. So we'll see what that looks like. Now, Matt has said that I read a few different guys, and I think it kind of maybe takes away from when he does say it about a guy because we'll have to wait. I mean, you have to wait and see. Um, But. Yeah, I mean, I remember when Quentin started in 2021, he was like he was getting picked on because he was the new guy. Uh, and he definitely elevated his, his kind of his his stock since then. But yeah, I, I, I agree with you. I mean, I think a, a few um, opportunities to, to pick the ball off would have helped him significantly. I mean, look what Tommy Hill has done with his name. And he like dropped a bunch of balls and he still got him in the conversation. But he got, he got enough picks that, that now people consider him one of the better quarterbacks in the league. Well, I agree, but, 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 and he still, he still can be better, right? Mm-hmm. He can be better. He dropped balls that were right in his hands big time. He didn't, you know, there, I'm just saying we all can get better at what we're doing. We have to get better in order to be in those conversations. Or we're going to forever be talking about well, we're the king of the one loss score games. <laughs> That's what we've been talking about. It was something else. Go, go to this. It was another one right below that one. Yeah, go to that one. Terrell, 9251 says, is Nebraska going to get any punting coaches? Well, I don't think it's about punting coaches. I think it's about returning the ball. Well, I, I, wait a minute, though. You, you're talking two different things. That's punt return. He said punting coaches. We got to. Did I we mean, struggle punting? I don't think we. Tr- sometimes we did. But he, he was you know, sporadic. He wasn't yeah. consistent. Yeah, he's, he's not, not consistent. consistent. Yeah. I mean, I, I think you should at least spend one fifty two two hundred. Whoa, 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 <laughs> my friend! What do you think? We got a special teams coach. Well, yeah. what's he supposed to be doing? Well, I don't know. I guess he's running the scout team. No, no. <laughs> we, when you have a special teams coach, he's supposed to be the coach of those punters yeah. and of those kickers first. Like Coach Young used to be, kick the ball, kick it further. What are you doing? All right, punt team, kick it again. Well, I think that's you know not being a not having the ability to spend more time at practice on special teams because I know we took probably thirty minutes to forty five minutes each day at the beginning of practice to do our special teams, and it, and it has to be worked on. I mean, you just can't have a guy sitting on the side on the side of the field kicking the ball and thinking that's going to do it. You got to have real live action and, you know, be able to see the pressure, be able to to set the returns up and be able to, you know, try to see what a, you know, what's the heavy side, what's the light side, where you need to rotate to. So it's it's a not rotate, but shift to. But it's, it's a lot that you have to do with special teams. And then one thing is you're probably not spending enough time on it. Well, those kickers aren't doing anything. They all the kickers supposed to be doing like they used to do with we, us. We all know what kickers kick. Think. All practice, they should be kicking. Yeah, but you know how sometimes those kickers get. I don't know, but they should be kicking across the field the whole time, working on kicking. Yeah, and, and that's one thing you should get one of these young GA assistants to go over there and monitor them while you know you got a thousand of them out there. So you know it, it's it's plenty of people that can monitor these punters out there. Yeah, kickers don't. It's not like kickers practice now. Now. um, Chris Brown was a different breed because we could use Chris Brown. You know what I mean? Chris Brown was so athletic that we needed him his freshman year to give us a look. But other than that, man, kickers don't go on. They don't go on special teams. They don't run down on kickoffs. Kickers don't do any of that. They kick. That's it. That's all they get paid to do is kick ball. So uh, there's, there's no excuse on our kicker still struggling. We should have this under control by now. Uh, as Josh points out on Facebook, Camden Cook now part of Nebraska's team, so maybe you could have his dad, Sam Cook, and maybe come in and give you some pointers. Mm. Right, well, I mean, and, it, and that could be cured in getting Mr. Cook, whose dad was the, probably one of the most prolific kickers in the NFL for a long time, mm-hmm. and definitely to come out of Nebraska. So he's already going to come equipped 
with some knowledge about kicking that, you know, if you got to teach the guy that you, you're behind the eight ball. So I think it's a good look. Uh, Big Bird also, th- shout out to him for uh, wearing of, us of this. Ohio State's men's basketball coach, Chris Holtman, has been fired. Um, this is kind of interesting because Michigan's, <laughs> Michigan's AD just came out with a vote of confidence, I suppose, for Juan Howard. Um, Ohio State, not wasting any time, though. They move on from Chris Holtman. His team's 14 and 10 right now, 4 and 9 in Big Ten play. That's obviously not good enough at a place like Ohio State. He came over from Butler, if you remember, and actually had some success his, his first couple of years. Never, though, really put Ohio State into um, the Sweet 16. Uh, his high of win total there was the first year that he took over from Thad Minor with 25 and 9. Since then, he's won 20, 21, 21, 20, 16, and 19 last year. And again, now 14 and 10 uh, this season. Nebraska, by the way, plays them, Ohio State, in 15 days. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, Ohio State is the number one school as far as money goes in the country. You think basketball and basketball is important to Ohio State. Going and being a mediocre team in basketball and getting beat by Nebraska is unacceptable to them. And they said, we're going to make a decision right now in the middle of the season to fire you now. You're not working out. We don't care what we go from this point on. We're just going to let you go. Wow. Go back to the text line. There's one more text on there that I want to touch on. Uh, Gus Mohawk. What does he say? He said UCLA has a sub $1 million in NIL and look at their schedule next year. Yikes. What do you mean sub $1 million? You telling me that UCLA only got a million dollars in NIL? That's what you're telling me? That's what he's saying, yeah. Gus Mohawk, bring the receipts. You think that's true? I know that they're not. They weren't in, like, the best situation as far as, um, like, athletic department. They're not balancing the books <laughs> as well as they should. The move to the Big Ten should help. And even though UCLA feels like it could be a lot bigger than it has been, uh, the biggest draw, obviously, there is campus. <laughs> um, you can find, you know, recruits everywhere in, in your state. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think there are some things that UCLA has to work out. I don't know if, if you know, they're not the lead draw in the city, especially football-wise. USC would be, uh, obviously, got two NFL teams there. So, I mean, yeah, they have they have some obstacles, but it's still a pretty darn solid job, especially now in the Big Ten. Mm. Downtown, Scott. Says it's not Pat Fitzgerald. It's I better not say that. Yeah, you can't say that one. It's Fats Fitzgerald. <laughs> That's right. We'll say that one. Go to 007. Uh 007 says what? Uh this is talking uh, about the UCLA job still. I think Deshaun Foster is a lame duck coach. His programming inherited is on a major decline. <laughs> so basically he said they basically said, hey, you take the bullet. You take this bullet. Here you go, Deshaun. You you got big shoulders here. You're going to get killed next year in the Big Ten. <laughs> and then we're going to fire you and bring somebody in to justify you didn't get it done, buddy. What do you say? Uh, somebody else, 7453 also says, looking at UCLA's schedule next year, I don't think there's many coaches that would say yes to that job. You have to remember, UCLA, again, is, is not where they want to be, but they're still winning eight, nine games a year. We'll see how that translates to the Big Ten, but it's not like they're – a four and five win pro football program. Go, 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 go right there. Kmart Steve. Kmart Steve. Oh, and then we'll get out of here. He says, when VJ has a bad idea, like this celebrity thing, can Bach play the sad trombone sound effect <laughs> <laughs> like they did burr, 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 at Caitlin burr, burr. Clark. <laughs> you got to find that. <laughs> yeah. You got to find that. You got to You got to find that. <laughs> Hey, Eric says, stop living in the last, Vershawn. Why? Artesian chocolate. Is this it? Yes, that's (laughs) it. So, listen, guys, the text line, you you two. If I say something, you have to say, what what is going to be the kind of the the catch word that they say when they want you to play that on the text line? (laughs) What? Come on. Just say, Terrell, are you here? Maybe Caitlin Clark. Just text him, Caitlin. Clark. There you go, Caitlin Clark. <laughs> that's the that's the key word, Caitlin Clark. Hey, listen, not fast. It's two hours in radio is rolling on ninety three point seven. The ticket will be right back. Crazy. From Hollywood to South Central. Crazy. 
you want all the latest technologies from those big banks, but you also want that hometown feel when you walk in the front doors, choose Midwest Bank. They have top-notch technology. They make banking so easy, and they also have the friendliest staff who will take their time to get to know you and treat you like family. You get the best of both worlds when you choose Midwest Bank. I live on the go, and now I can bank on the go. With Midwest Bank, I have everything I need at my fingertips. I'm volleyball player Allie Batenhorst, and at Midwest Bank, you'll love banking here. Ready to upgrade your combine in 2024? The team at Landmark Implement is here to help find the right combine to fit your operations needs. Choose from 4.5% for up to 60 months or a 12-month interest waiver, followed by John Deere financial rates with approved credit through the end of February. When you purchase the pre-owned S or X-Series combine from Landmark, know you are backed by Landmark's extensive parts and service network with mobile techs and parts drop-off points to keep you up and running. View our current inventory online at LandmarkM.com or stop by your local Landmark to experience the Landmark difference. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Koppel Chevrolet GMC, and we have some really big savings for you right now. Our new crossover sale is underway. New terrains, equinoxes, and trailblazers starting at $23,290. That's right, $23,290. Also, we've continued our huge Sierra and Silverado truck sale with over $10,000 off new pickups. You heard right, over $10,000 off list. Koppel truly has a small town feel with big city deals or right down 144th street or at couplecars.com stock numbers g260980 and c119824 attention all wings fans 89 cent wings are back on tuesdays at buffalo wings and rings in lincoln enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy and now at the williamsburg village wings and rings you can enjoy dollar 50 tall boys in bud light coors light bush light and michelope ultra every day after 7 p.m and all day on sundays Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 cent wings. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full time roles offer a four and a half day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of liberty for those accused and the pursuit of justice for those injured. Liberty Law Group's relentless trial attorneys specialize in criminal defense and personal injury law. Navigating the legal system can be stressful, overwhelming, and full of uncertainty. Liberty Law Group is here to do the heavy lifting for you. We believe in treating every client with respect and understanding. When you're in need of legal assistance, trust Liberty Law Group to fight for you. Call 877-42-LIBERTY. That's 877-42-LIBERTY. Southeast Community College invites you to check out our spaces ahead of your official campus visit. Our virtual campus tours let you see our campuses and learn more about our programs of study. Then you can schedule your individual visit in person or virtually. Virtual tours of our campuses in Beatrice, Lincoln, or Milford and our learning centers are online at southeast.edu slash visit SCC. SCC, your path to possible. At Union Bank, people don't have your money. Your money has people. First home people, investment people, people people, people who answer the phone and your chats, dream car people, dream retirement people, driving your dream car and your dream retirement people, small business people, credit card people, and all the other people you need. At Union Bank, our people help you do more than you dreamed possible. So stop in and say hello. We can't wait to see you. Union Bank and Trust, member FDIC. The place you call home should always be a place of comfort. Warm and cozy in winter, cool and relaxing in summer. If your home isn't delivering the comfort you expect, call Bryant. It's more than just hot and cold to them. It's about providing the best comfort solutions. And Bryant gives you a full 24-month test drive on your home comfort system. 
Get full details at bryantlincoln.com or call 467-1111. Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. We do whatever it takes. Golfing in 72 degrees and perfect conditions in Nebraska doesn't seem possible in the winter, but it is. Double Eagle Golf is your escape from the bone-chilling cold outside and a reason to keep your clubs out year-round. Book a bay with some friends for a weekend or come by for golf and happy hour on a weekday. Spring leagues begin in February. Get signed up today. That's all at Double Eagle Golf inside the Kinetic Sports Complex at West O Street. Online at doubleeagle.golf. Back with Vershawn Jackson, powered by Bauer, on 937 The Ticket and the Ticketfm.com. This is so weak. This is so not. You don't like this No, one? not the captain show. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't like that. It's supposed to be something Terrell wanted to have on. Is this your deal? What you got on? Is this your deal? Is this your deal? Get your mind right. Why are you always late, man? No, I don't know what this is. Why are you always late? Got a, got, got a lot going on today, man. Oh, you, you, you better get it together. We got a show to run here. But I'm not going to have this out of you. Next time it's gonna be me, you, the belt, and the butt, like my mom told me. You know what that meant, huh? When my mom said that to you, it was that was not a threat. That was a promise. You, you, if you hit me with a belt, I might be sleeping on a bunk bed for the rest of my life. Me, <laughs> you, the belt, the butt. You ain't gonna sit on no bunk bed. Yes, I will. I might have to sleep. Yeah, because your bed. butt gonna be on fire. You gotta get on the top shelf. You know, you know where the bunk bed is at, don't you? No. Yeah. <laughs> Never been a part of a bunk bed crew. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm always on the bottom, buddy. <laughs> never on the top. As twins, you've never had you never owned a bunk bed? No, we didn't have a bunk oh. bed. No, we had we had beds that were they we were in the same room, but his yeah. bed was across the room from mine. Oh, okay. No, we didn't do the bunk bed thing. Yeah, I had bunk thing. beds. We didn't. I yeah. said we didn't have bunk beds, me and being a twin. You ever made the tent with the fan? No. You never got a sheet and put it over the fan and it blows up. Like no. <laughs> Who does that? You did that? Yeah. Did you do that, Bob? I didn't that. That was a Georgia thing. Because yeah. fans, fans back in your day in Georgia was probably super popular. Yeah. I there wasn't no air conditions. Was, well, it was hot. Well, that's what I'm saying. You People didn't really, have air conditions back really then. You really didn't learn that about an air conditions to probably like the early 90s. <laughs> that's, that's a problem. Yeah, because they like that's a problem. That's a problem. I always go down south and think to myself, because I come from Nebraska, we've always had air conditions all my life. I go down south like, hey, the fan is not the air condition. Well, we slept with the door open in the country when we was little. My grandpa, he never shut the door. Really? Yeah, just screen door. Do you think you'd do that now? Mm, he probably would if he, he probably would. yeah not you well in my neighborhood i can leave the door open so i'm not worried about that okay come on Bob. uh well we talked the other day about our nfl uh draft kind of thoughts here field yates uh, put out his mock draft today um and it does not have uh michael Penix, your guy in the first round ah dang <laughs> i bet you michael Penix do well in the nfl though well it's interesting because there are a lot of quarterbacks in the first round um, so, Give us the mock draft. Come yeah, on, Bob. Yeah, so number one, you have Caleb Williams and the Bears. Going to Chicago. That's right. They talked them into it. Number two, you have Jaden Daniels, the Commanders, the LSU Heisman Trophy winning quarterback. Uh, number three, you have Patriots uh, drafting North Carolina's Drake May at quarterback. Wow. Uh, number four, he's got the Cardinals getting Marvis and Harrison Jr. And at five, he's got the Chargers and uh, Harbaugh going with Joe Alt, the left tackle out of uh, Notre Dame. Some other interesting ones. We talked about the Bears also having another top 10 pick. Uh, Yates sees them taking uh, Le- Leatu Latu of uh, UCLA, who's an edge rusher. Um, before Michael Penix would get drafted here at 12, we would have the Broncos taking J.J. McCarthy from Michigan. <laughs> yeah, it sounds sound like the Broncos. Oh, sound my like, God. It sounds yeah. like the Broncos. Yeah. What? It sound like the Broncos. <laughs> Are sorry, you kidding me right sorry, now? Sorry, Chris Raff, but the Broncos. Yeah, Chris Raff. That's probably good for they That's a good quarterback for them. A lot of people are really interested in, in McCarthy. Obviously, he didn't put up the, the kind of numbers, but when they needed him to come through against he's uh, a Jake Alabama the Snake plumber. In the national championship, yeah, he's a Jake the Snake plumber. Hmm. I like I like him. Jake the Snake was good at Denver. Yeah, he's gonna be good up there. I think that's a good pick. 
I, I, who did you say was going? You said a rush, a rush edge at nine with Chicago. Yeah, that's what they have them going there. If they get Ooh. a quarterback, where's Brock Bowers? Brock Bowers, they have at sixteen to the Seahawks. Whoa, he failed that. That'd far? be quite a steal. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I Yates, think he'll go before that though. Yates said in his in his rundown that Bro- Bowers about Brock is, Bowers from Georgia. Yeah, yeah. a little six footer. No, he's, no, 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 big tight end. I'm just talking. About. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he said in, in his thing that Brock Bowers is a top ten pick. There's just it's quarterback heavy, so people are going to jump for quarterbacks. Um, top ten level talent, I should say. Uh, continuing with the quarterback theme, number twenty, the Steelers. We talked about their options. He has them taking Bo Nix from Oregon. Mm. Mm. Uh, one other notable one I thought in the first round there, the Packers going at twenty five with Cooper DeGene, um, which will be interesting. Cooper DeGene, Iowa, or, your defensive back, your defensive back, yeah. Wow. Are, do you think that uh, your buddy going to Arizona at four is a good look for him? I don't think so. It's well, a, the thing about the Cardinals, though, they, they got to get this quarterback situation right. Um, little guy has missed a lot of time in the last two years, and you know he's it, five it, six. But he, but he 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 was given this money. Yeah, they they that's they, the problem. They went in that's the it. problem. He he was given the money too early. Yep, and he demanded it. But you you don't demand him to play. You know to get healthy. You know I don't know what the situation is, but. You give him all this money, and he don't live up to their expectations. He's on the level of being a bust. Well, and he's a, he's, he he cries too much for me. I mean, I mean every time I turn on the tape, he's crying, well, arguing he, with his I, people I on the sideline. I don't think he has any any help there in Arizona. But who, who's their receivers? They, they do they have? Yeah, um, no. So you mean tell me you're gonna take? Are you gonna you 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 would? I just think that's a bad look for him in his career going to Arizona. Well, I would want to go somewhere where a guy could actually get me the ball. Well, we can say that especially about Larry Fitzgerald when he went there. Who was his quarterback? Uh, he had a lot of different yeah. players. Mean, Jake, Jake, Palmer, Jake, he didn't have Jake the Snake. He didn't have no. one as bad as the quarterback they got right now passing the ball. Tyler's not awful at passing the ball. He does need more help. I, 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 mean, I think it's fine. I don't I don't think they necessarily need a quarterback. I would love the Marvin Harrison pick. Were you really? Mm-hmm. You'd be you you would become a fan? Oh, I'm already a Cardinals fan, unfortunately. Well, then you would love that pick, but as a you love it when Emmett Smith was there, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got the, the NFL lead in Russia. Oh, that didn't go anywhere. No, Larry <laughs> Sinners. Larry Sinners was the best fullback slash running back to come out of Arizona, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. One of them. I like David Boston too, though. Oh yeah, he was really good. I liked him a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? They don't have big guys like that anymore, smacking people around. Larry Fitzgerald. Anquan Bolden was there for a they had, they had some good. Did they get the guy players. from um, Houston? What was that? That receiver, the the big guy that was at Houston, the good receiver, a couple of years no. ago. No. Andre Johnson, DeAndre Hopkins. Did they have him? No, oh, yeah, they oh, did yeah, have yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they traded him or dropped him. I can't remember what, how that ended, but yeah, they didn't. They don't have him anymore. Okay, uh, so that's interesting. Another another note of the NFL that Kyle Shanahan said that he had his discussions with the team's analytics staff and indicated it, that it would be best to take the ball first in overtime. Of course, this was a big deal coming out of the Super Bowl. Similar to college rules, a lot of people would think you'd want to get the ball second so you know what you have to do. It had played out that way where San Francisco got three and then Kansas City knew they could win with a touchdown. Um, so there was a lot of discussion about that. And then the 49ers, some, several of the players said they didn't know the overtime rules. I didn't know the overtime rules because the clock was running out. Nobody seemed to care because they were going to start another overtime session. Yeah. So it was confusing altogether for a lot of people. But obviously Shanahan was supposed to know. He said the reason why they did that is because it does go to sudden death after each team scores. So whether they score a touchdown, a field goal, if each team scores the same the first time around, then he said you would want the ball, then they would want the ball first for the chance to win. That was his reasoning behind the overtime Trust decision. Me, Listen, they got beat. Guess what? When you go into overtime, you don't go into overtime to score a field goal. You go into overtime to score a touchdown to put pressure on the team. Then it's say like they can't score a field goal to win. They have to score a touchdown. So I don't know if I'm buying that. I just think they got beat, man. You can't put anything else on there. It was a bad call by him. Should have deferred. They won the toss. He should have deferred. How about this story out of the CFL? Uh, Terrell's old stomping grounds. The Detroit Lions have signed defensive lineman Matthew Betts to a reserve futures contract. Betts was the CFL's most outstanding defensive player last year with a record, a league best, excuse me, 
18 sacks in 18 games with the BC Lions. He played his college ball uh, in in Canada as well. Mm. So CFL. Got to be a yard off the ball. No. Yeah, that's a yard off that's the ball. That's a long way. Yeah. Off the ball. Yeah. Well, you're talking Canada, too. You playing with more players? Mm, 12. Well, that's more players than 11. Well, you, you playing with a wider field? You, but that's it's a passing league. I mean, you got five, six wide receivers. Hey, go to that text real quick. You see that text right there that says the captain is a bottom? <laughs> Ew. You see that? I do see that. Get your mind out the gutter. First of all, if you ever slept on a bunk bed like I have and fell off the top bunk because I'm always moving around, <laughs> yeah, that ain't fun. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm a bottom guy on the bunk. Mm. Just the bunk only. I'll let your boy. I had 3.7 to take at. The place you call home should always be a place of comfort. Warm and cozy in winter, cool and relaxing in summer. If your home isn't delivering the comfort you expect, call Bryant. It's more than just hot and cold to them. It's about providing the best comfort solutions. And Bryant gives you a full 24-month test drive on your home comfort system. Get full details at bryantlincoln.com or call 467-1111. Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. We do whatever it takes. Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of liberty for those accused and the pursuit of justice for those injured. Liberty Law Group's relentless trial attorneys specialize in criminal defense and personal injury law. Navigating the legal system can be stressful, overwhelming, and full of uncertainty. Liberty Law Group is here to do the heavy lifting for you. We believe in treating every client with respect and understanding. When you're in need of legal assistance, trust Liberty Law Group to fight for you. Call 877-42-LIBERTY. That's 877-42-LIBERTY. This is James Harrell with NP Dodge Real Estate. When I became a licensed realtor, I wanted a brokerage that would help me grow in my new career. I found that in Lincoln First Realty. When Lincoln First was acquired by NP Dodge, the training and support I received only got better. I love knowing I have the power of the NP Dodge brand behind me. I would recommend NP Dodge to new agents looking to jumpstart their real estate career and to current agents who want to take their business to the next level. Expand your career with NP Dodge. Call Eric at 402-434-2222. Herrick Services takes this time to wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day. They encourage those who go out to make smart decisions behind the wheel or plan accordingly to have someone lined up for a safe ride home. This important message comes to you from Bart and the folks at Herrick Services, your vending specialist here in Lincoln. Their quality service and expertise has earned them a fine reputation. That's Herrick Services on the air because they care. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Drinking and driving causes serious harm to friends, family members, and loved ones. In 2021, 65 people were killed in Nebraska by a car crash involving a drunk driver. Do not drink and drive. By drinking less, you can still be here for your loved ones. If you or loved one is looking for help, find a treatment facility near you at findtreatment.gov. For immediate support, call, text, or chat 988. Brought to you by Nebraska DHHS in partnership with SAMHSA. Southeast Community College invites you to check out our spaces ahead of your official campus visit. Our virtual campus tours let you see our campuses and learn more about our programs of study. Then you can schedule your individual visit in person or virtually. Virtual tours of our campuses in Beatrice, Lincoln, or Milford and our learning centers are online at southeast.edu slash visit SCC. SCC, your path to possible. 
Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. Listen up, guys. Valentine's Day is almost here, and it's third and goal, and we need a touchdown, not a field goal. You need a personal florist so you don't drop the ball. And Petal Creations can be the MVP for you this year by helping you impress the lady in your life with the heart box of love display of roses. Trust me on this one. This play call will result in a touchdown. Call Petal Creations today to reserve your flowers at 402-423-6500 or go to petalcreations.com. Mosaic is a nonprofit whole person healthcare organization that embraces God's call and relentlessly pursues opportunities that empower people with diverse needs to live their best lives. Mosaic in Southeast Nebraska, serving Lincoln and Beatrice, would like to invite you to their monthly Discover the Possibilities Tour events. Events are held on the third Wednesday of every month and are a great way to understand Mosaic's mission. To RSVP, please contact Melindy at 402-429-0088 or visit mosaicinfo.org slash Southeast Nebraska. Back with Vershawn Jackson, powered by Bauer on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Yeah, yeah. 93.7 is the ticket. We the one. But I know, no, don't, 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 we are in the building and we are power by Bauer. Bauer. Infrastructure. Bauer. Underground. Brand. Excavated. That's right. I'm with the Black Shirt. And Bach. Fastest two hours in radio is churning, man. We thank y'all for riding with us on hey, this let's talk Heavenly this. Waffle Wednesday. Yeah. What? Talk about what? Well, we want to talk they about. You interrupted me on stuff. You know, we got 10 minutes left. Let us get something in. Okay. Let me I'll get be quiet for a minute. Go ahead. Bach, me and Bach talked about this earlier. Uh, at the last moment of the NBA trade yesterday, or at before midnight, however it goes, the Golden State Warriors owner called Jenny Buss, who's the owners of the Lakers, and acquired about LeBron James teaming up with Stephen Curry. Yeah, we don't know who the Warriors were gonna give up. We don't know what the Lakers were gonna get, but LeBron turned it down. <laughs> Would you think that'll be a great? One two punch if if they was on that team. No. With Draymond, Dre Bob. No. <laughs> I don't know if it's enough balls. Well, you got you, who, who do you who, first of all, who is Golden State gonna give up to get LeBron James? That would well, be part of the problem. Yeah, I mean who? Let's just let's just try to claim who who is worth LeBron James. Who's the who's the young guy that got hit by Dre Bob? He gone. Pool. He, he gone. gone. He gone. Yeah, Wiseman. Yeah, he's no. Gone. He's talking about Pool. Jordan. Oh, Pool. Yeah, Pool's gone. Yeah, I don't know what they would have done. It would have been interesting because obviously they had the the rivalry between the two and their friends off the court, and it would have been you know two of the all time greats getting together. But it, and and the other thing is it would have maybe pushed Golden State over the edge of like being an actual competitor, and the Lakers um, would have fallen from there. But right now they're both kind of in the I think they're in the eight nine spots. They're not necessarily true, com- you know, com- truly competing for championships, pr- likely, right? You never know until the playoffs come. But um, and the fact that LeBron James has a player option, so he would have been able to either opt in next year with Golden State, or, um, you know, or or decide uh, to go to free agency. So I think he's he said before he wants to be with the Lakers. That could change if his son gets drafted. Bronny doesn't look like he's anywhere close to being drafted oh, right no. now. He looks like he's a developmental player right now yeah so i think he's just his plan is to stay in la but if he were going to decline the player option and hit free agency then then it would make sense to me because then you give yourself a a better chance at a championship with golden state than you do sticking with the lakers but to me this tells me he's gonna opt in and and try to stay with the lakers what's the best fit like if if we were to say lebron james get traded what would you think he fit at best on one of these winning teams anywhere yeah, I mean, he's Milwaukee, still anywhere, Milwaukee, Any, anywhere, anywhere you put LeBron James, they're going to be a championship caliber team immediately. The, the, the favorite, 
The problem is, if you have to trade for LeBron James, you got to give up so much that it doesn't make it worth your while, I don't believe. I believe that if the Lakers traded for LeBron James, right, say they got rid of, of, of LeBron James, who would they get from Golden State? You you couldn't give up Curry. Clay Thompson. Okay. So you're going to give up Clay Thompson. And Dre Bob. No, no, sir. Clay and Dre you're Bob are give, both not what they used to be. No. You Let's just say they give up Clay, Dre Bob, and uh, what's the other one that, that really been balling? He's been there a while now. Come on. He's supposed to be a phenom, kind of a point forward type guy. I don't know. They they don't have too many. Yeah, they do. Young, this guy's been players. there. This kid's been there for a while. I thought he was the son of somebody, but maybe not. I could be wrong. But but I, but I think you take those three people and you take them off that, that basketball team and you put a LeBron James. You're talking about Wiggins. Yeah. Okay. Wiggins is a, is a baller. Yeah, I could see Wiggins being, I suppose, part of the trade. I'm saying if you're gonna get rid of, you got to get rid of three. You you think they gonna Lakers gonna take three just mediocre running the? Come on, man. LeBron James is the franchise. He's the general manager player. He makes him, he's making general manager moves at the Lakers. He's gonna die, a Laker. He never leaving the Lakers. I don't believe. I could be wrong, but I don't believe it. They have to something catastrophic has to happen for him to leave the Lakers. Well, he's like what thirty nine years old. Hey, he's I, I got, still playing at all star level, but <laughs> shoot, LeBron James is gonna play into well into his forties, guaranteed. I just, if he was going to retire, wouldn't now be a good time to retire? I mean, it could be, but again, he's he's still playing at such a high level. Yeah, no, he'll probably pay to forty five. You remember that? You remember that platform you was talking about? <laughs> what platform? That platform you always talk about. Well, listen to this. This is like one of you. you this is remind me of one of you lifter of the year guys. So, oh, okay. Um, a year before landing the starting role in the Incredible Hulk on CBS. Lou Ferrigno tried out for the CFL Toronto Argonauts in 1976 as a defensive lineman. Not playing football in high school or college, he was cut <laughs> shortly after and realized he lacks the experience. They cut the Hulk. Yeah, big guy. You know how you guys are all big and muscular? Right. That don't right. work everywhere. Nah. <laughs> See, it's the difference when you're just a big guy. When you're an athlete, and you're a nice size, and then you get big, you're still an athlete. Just got bigger, faster, stronger. Nothing changes. You don't go, you don't get slower and go, um, ba, boom, ba, boom, da, da, da. do your thing right quick, live, since I'm here. The, <laughs> the, the, the stork. Do, 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 my mama do me. <laughs> you watch too much TV. But but no, I'm not. Yeah, come on, Bob. Well, it's kind of interesting just to go with stories. You're talking about old stories. I saw this too. There's Scott Frost in a in a in a Ferrari, or is that a Corvette? I don't know what that was. Scott Looks Frost. like Scott Frost in a Corvette. <laughs> he had blonde hair. But how about this? I, was, I found this on College Football Reddit. Uh, it was kind of fun. They went back and looked at a Northwestern newspaper from 1931. Um, that was calling out Al Capone for showing up to Northwestern's games. One of them included Nebraska and Northwestern. Given though Al Capone watched a Nebraska game live in 1931, the Daily Northwestern uh, called was upset. They were declaring cheap gangsters and outlaw criminals are not wanted at Northwestern function. Oh. Um, that's uh, and it ended up not going to too to many more. But still, that's kind of a brave back in the day for a student newspaper to call out Al Capone, don't you think? In Chicago, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, you know, back then the mobsters was running sports, gaming, and betting anyway. Yeah, yeah. Did I say that? <laughs> My bad. Well, who's there's the Chicago who's Black your, Sox. Who, who's uh, your best mobster of them all? Capone would be right up there. I went when I went to Chicago. They showed me he's got like there's this building they used to party on the top of. They still have his, like his penthouse at the top of a building. They're like, yep, that's where Al Capone party. I like Bunny and Clyde. When it takes a man and a woman to go, the real, the real Bunny and Clyde. Yeah, the real Bunny and Clyde. You know, Bach is looking at you like, what are you talking about? <laughs> the real Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde. He knows nothing what you're talking about. You know who Bonnie and Clyde is. No, I, he, he, I don't know necessarily about the He knows real the Bonnie cliche. Clyde, yeah. He doesn't know Bonnie. Look it up, Bach. Don't let him do that to you. Why would you go Bonnie and Clyde? Well, I, that's I, not a... Why that, not? That's, you, they was in the You can't today. compare Bonnie and Clyde to Al Capone? Why you can't? They what? That's, Al Capone's a mob boss. 
Bonnie and Clyde was just on a bank crime rob- spree. Bank robbers. The crime spree. It's a difference. My boss, crime spree. Hey, them two when hey, you ever seen um, Natural Born Killers? Uh, not not completely. With, Woody, too, with it, Woody Harrison and that girl. Yeah, what, yeah, yeah. What I, was I that know what you're talking about. I, but you can't compare Al Capone. Can you give me another gangster besides, like, there's so many other guys. Just think American, uh, think American gangster for a minute. Bumpy Johnson. Bumpy Johnson. Dang, yeah, yeah. Bumpy Johnson. There's yeah. another one in the same movie. Well, it, American well, gangster. Yeah. Come on, dog. Yeah, but you should know all the rappers. The Sopranos. That's all the rappers name their names after these guys. The Sopranos. Yeah, right? no, Rick Ro- Sopranos. The Sopranos ain't real. It's a movie. Yeah, it's about mob. Yeah, but uh, what's the best mob? About movie? who? What's the best mob? The Godfather. Movie? The Godfather. Yeah, Cas- I think Casino. I like Casino too. Yeah, I like Casino too. But, but I thought Bob the Godfather. Don't even know what we talking about. Look. I know a little bit. Yeah. I, I like to. I watched like Boardwalk Empire. I don't know if you guys ever saw that. They portrayed uh, Lucky Luciano, which got all the crime families together. Stop being a war. Yeah. Got them together to get the whole syndicate going. Yeah. We bring, I put him right up there. Luchy, we Luchy bring everyone <laughs> to the table, including Buck and DP. And we're going to do things the right way together. Anyway, but uh, if you, but I'm thinking Rick Ross. <laughs> Come on, man, Free Ray Rick Ross. Mm. That's a gangster, not no. the rapper. No, not the rapper. <laughs> Definitely yeah, he, not he, the rapper. He, he does a little vibe, vibe TV. I still see him. I probably. mean, it was we just talking back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can go to a whole bunch. Of, a he just gave you another one. Lucky you can, Luciano. You can name the guys from Detroit that was back in the days. They was, that was my. I forgot. I, I I look at a lot of stories about Detroit back in the days. Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. What, what what city and state do you believe the most mobsters come from? What state, first of all? Do you believe the most mobsters come from? Because everybody's going to say New York. I already know, but yeah, go ahead. Guess New York. Yeah. You're going to guess New York? Chicago. Chicago. Good guess. Nobody ever thinks about Ohio, huh? Mm. Hmm. Might want to look that up. Matter of fact, Youngstown, Ohio. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the, Omaha. There's two, Tiny boys? <laughs> there's, two things that come out of, there's two things that come out of Youngstown, Ohio. Football coaches. And... Mobsters. Gangsters, <laughs> that's right. Coaches and who else is from there? The who stoops, else is a the Cardinal stoops. Mooney? The stoops. The stoops. Who else? Who else is from Ohio? Both he wanted his favorite. No, the guy that he said was going to replace Scott Frost is from Ohio. Come on. Come I don't on. know who you said was going to replace Scott Frost. <laughs> who did, there you oh. go. Urban Meyer, that gangster. All these gangster coaches, man. I'm trying to tell you, that's what they do. They never, anyway, go by. Oh, Jordan P gets Jersey. What? Let me see. For gangsters. Jersey. Oh, got gotcha. you. Yeah. yeah. Go back to the text line anyway while you look up some other stuff. I want to see if I can use. Oh, Frank Lulick. Frank Lucas, Jordan P says. Who is Kaminga? Uh, that would be one of the, the players on uh, Golden State that maybe they could have been offered up. Mm. You think so? I don't know, okay. All right. We'll, we'll be good on that one. We'll take your we'll take your word for it. Hey, that's Steve. Steve's my friend. I know. But see, now you had him turn the music uh, on early. Yeah. Just because you want to look around like you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you didn't know. Yeah. It's all about the black shirt. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's all about the black shirt. Mm. Yeah. He makes it all happen. <laughs> It'll never be seen. <laughs> yeah. Don't mess my song up. 43. Make it all happen. Mm. What you talking about messing up? I can, I can hit it better than you. Just hit, keep hitting the buttons. <laughs> there you go. Got you. Now I got you. Now don't mess up my song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to do it, do it right. Get us out of here. How about you do that? Make All yourself right. beautiful. You only said 10 words today. Well, if you missed out on the Heavenly Waffles Wednesday, hopefully they'll be back next Wednesday. But guess what? The fastest two hours of radio is over. It's over. It's over. 93.7 the ticket. Wish we can go for four hours. Never. That's a lie. It'll never be the same. That's a lie. It'll never be the same. I would never be the same. It'll never be the same. It will never go. It will never be the same. Bye bye. It will never be the same. Bye bye. It will never be the same. Bye bye. Uh, uh. It'll never be the same. Bye bye. Uh, uh. It will never be the same. <laughs>
the ticket. Thank y'all for riding with us. I'm the captain with Baca the Black Shirt. We'll see y'all tomorrow. is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM for 93.7 The Ticket. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Infrastructure, a veteran-owned local company proudly serving Lincoln, Lancaster County, and the surrounding areas. Bauer provides quality work at an affordable price, and they're growing rapidly. If you want to experience a career with a fast-paced, family-friendly environment, visit